The world's most famous radio personality and TV host, Ryan Seacrest, underwent a major upheaval in his life a few years ago. At this time, he decided to move to New York City and live full time in the Big Apple while recording his popular morning show, Live with Kelly and Ryan. In the process of making the move, Ryan bid farewell to a couple of stunning Beverly Hills properties that took him years to offload. One of these was a stunning and expansive estate that he originally bought from Ellen DeGeneres back in 2012 for 30 $36.5 million. Built by architects Buff and Hensman in the 1960s for the Manchurian Candidate star Lawrence Harvey, this home has since been owned by celebs like Dame Joan Collins and Will and Grace co-creator Max Muchnik before the keys were handed over to Ellen and then Seacrest. Shortly after taking ownership of the home, Ryan renovated the five structure expanse, which includes a main house, two guest houses, a pool house, and the next door property that he purchased for an additional $2 million. Distributed across nearly three acres of land overlooking the city, this secluded compound offers a ton of exterior amenities, such as picture-perfect gardens, lawns, striking statues, and its very own koi pond. The main residence has been wrapped in ivy as well as glass and this single story unit holds four bedrooms and six bathrooms inside of a 9,200 square feet. Up top, a whitewashed beams hang from the ceilings, which helps provide a whimsical feel, especially in the home's living room with its bold, natural wood and stone, as well as a seamless indoor-outdoor feel thanks to a series of sliding doors. Elsewhere, the home's gourmet kitchen provides stainless steel appliances as well as marble countertops and the addition of an outdoor pizza oven situated only a few feet away in one of the home's many alfresco dining areas. Of course, if you'd rather eat inside, that's obviously an option, thanks to the home's big formal dining room, capable of seating as many as a dozen people around its glossy wood table. If you'd rather a more intimate setting, there's even a breakfast room drenched in sunlight. Over in the master bedroom, a neutral palette makes for a soft and zen-like setting, while a slouch sofa gives a pop of subtle color. The attached dressing room is far moodier and darker, but at least it has no shortage of space for designer clothes. As for the ensuite bathroom, it's about as close as you can get to bathing in the middle of a garden, thanks to its glass-walled setting. If you know Seacrest, then you know he loves to exercise as often as possible, which is probably why one of the biggest additions he made to this property was a fully stocked gym in the unit's basement. Not far from there is the highlight of the home, a full-service spa complete with several massage rooms and an elegant lobby that provides a hydration station accompanied by cozy couches. But that's not the only surprise this home has up its sleeve. Underneath its exterior pool is an underground parking garage that can be accessed from a separate gated driveway. It's clear that Ryan Seacrest spared no expense setting this place up. Unfortunately, he didn't live here that long. Five years after buying the place, he moved to New York City to begin his new morning host gig. He then listed this home in 2020 for an eye-watering $85 million. Needless to say, he didn't get what he was looking for. Three years later, Seacrest would sell this home for $51 million, which is $34 million less than what he was seeking. Don't feel too bad though, because that sale price still qualifies as the second best sale in the 90210 zip code all year. Before Ryan could forget about LA completely though, he had one more property to offload. The very same year Ryan Seacrest bought that home from Ellen DeGeneres, he picked up a second Beverly Hills address, a mid-century modern property he only spent $3 million on. The second home sits on an acre of land near Franklin Canyon at the end of a cul-de-sac and was built in 1957. Described in marketing materials as an incredible opportunity to remodel or rebuild with spectacular value and upside, this serene looking home is entered through a private courtyard. Inside this three-story unit provides a light-filled living room with plenty of space for furnishings, while the home's kitchen boasts some shiny looking appliances set into a large wall. Elsewhere, the owner's suite is massive and the home provides a grand total of five bedrooms in all. Meanwhile, out back, you'll discover a nearby pool, deck, terrace, and scenic surroundings that provide gorgeous views of Los Angeles. Seacrest would place this home on the market in November 2021 for a little over $6 million. Much like his other Beverly Hills home, no one bit, so he dropped price, 
by $400,000. It's unclear if anyone has taken Ryan up on this offer yet, but if I had to guess, I'd say he's still looking for a buyer. I'm sure offloading this home is something Seacrest can't wait to do because he's as busy as he's ever been over on the East Coast. Ryan Seacrest has been living his best life since moving to New York City back in 2017 to host Live with Kelly and Ryan, based out of a gigantic Manhattan townhouse situated not too far from where his co-host Kelly Ripa lives. So how much does he rent this place for? Well, according to reports from Closer Weekly, it's an epic $75,000. Located in Lenox Hill, this incredible home boasts 9,500 square feet of space with six bedrooms, six bathrooms, and even six fireplaces. This Greek revival was built in 1879 and recently renovated by architect Michael Chen. Now it includes hardwood and limestone floors as well as a healthy dose of marble with 12 foot high ceilings and its own private elevator. What's more, according to the listing, the unit's master suite occupies the entire third floor of the home and at the very top is a huge roof garden with outdoor seating and amazing views of the New York City skyline. When Ryan first moved to the Big Apple, he originally lived here with his girlfriend Shayna Taylor. According to an interview they gave to People Magazine, the couple used to love this open concept kitchen where they made a ton of meals together. But after these two broke up for a third time, the model packed up her bed and lift. In 2020, during the height of the pandemic, Ryan converted his living room into a full-time workplace where he not only hosted season 18 of American Idol, but also led Disney's family sing-along from the comfort of his own home. Once the pandemic wrapped up, Ryan continued to invite his fans into his home by showing off his kitchen with its wood cabinets, stainless steel appliances, and a handy island. He also revealed a rust-colored couch in his living room set in front of a stone wall, which is big enough for both Ryan and his dogs to get nice and cozy on. As comfy as Ryan clearly is in New York, the question is, will he continue to rent this place for long? After all, he recently announced that he'll be leaving his current morning show to replace Pat Sajak as the host of Wheel of Fortune. And since that series shoots in Culver City, Los Angeles, Ryan will be making his return to La La Land. Maybe we'll even move back into his Beverly Hills address that's still on the market. Who knows? But until we hear that Ryan Seacrest has bought himself a new Los Angeles home, that's gonna bring this latest edition of House Tour to a close. Thanks so much for watching today's episode, and before you go, consider answering the following question. If you could host any game show on the planet, which one would it be? Let me know if you'd be better at spinning the Wheel of Fortune than Ryan in the comments below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications to make sure you never miss a video. My name's Kara, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.